I've got the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus right here. And today I'm going to show you how to gain root access to the entire Galaxy S10 series as long as the bootloader can be unlocked. So this mainly pertains to the Exynos version of the Galaxy S10 series but there are some select few Snapdragon models such as the ones that are sold in China and I believe a few Latin America countries as well those Snapdragon variants can have the bootloader unlocked and if that is possible then we are able to root the Galaxy S10 with Odin and Majisk and today I'm going to show you how to do that so the first thing we need to do, we need to download the current firmware that you have on your Galaxy S10. So you can find this by going through the settings in the about page, the software information. You can find which version, which build version and base uh, baseband version, the build number baseband version of your current firmware. So that we're going to download your current firmware using other services and I'll, and I'll link to these other services in the full tutorial for this video which you can find linked below in the video description I typically use a program called Sam firm as it downloads very quickly it will only download the latest version for your device though and you need to be on your current version so if that if you are on the latest version, then good to go. If you are holding off on updates for some reason and you need to download an older version, then you need to use other websites or services such as Sam Mobile. But again, I will link to those other services in the full tutorial. It's going to be a big download, four or five gigabytes that you're going to download to the PC. Once that's done, we then need to download and install Majisk Manager. And if you're not aware of how to find that on GitHub, again, I'm going to link to that in the full tutorial. With that downloaded and installed, you need to sideload it, which I explained in the tutorial. We're then going to extract that firmware that we downloaded on the PC. And one of the files in that firmware is, begins with AP underscore. We're going to take that AP underscore file and we're going to copy it to our Galaxy S10. And I've done this already. So I have the AP file on this phone. So now I can open up Majisk Manager. Now what we're going to do, we're going to patch Majisk, which is what gives us root access. We're going to patch Majisk into this firmware file. So we're going to tap on install. We're going to tap on install again. And then we're going to tap on the select and patch a file. We're going to grant storage access. And then from here, we are able to browse the contents of our phone. So while we're in the file manager within Majisk manager. We're going to go into the downloads folder where I put that file. We're going to select that AP file. Then you're going to see a log up here at the top of what Majisk Manager is doing to the files within that file. That AP file is a combination of a bunch of images. A system.image, a dtbo.image, a dt.image. These files are being extracted they're being patched and then they're going to be packaged back up into that one big AP file. It's going to output a uh, I believe it's a magisk underscore patched dot tar file and it's going to tell us it's going to put, put that in the download folder right here. So we're just going to be patient for this all to happen. As I said, Majisk underscore patched dot TAR. So I'm going to connect the USB cable back up to the phone, transfer this Majisk underscore patched dot TAR file 
to my PC because I'm going to load that into Odin. So we, before we load up Odin, we actually need to boot the Galaxy S10, the Galaxy S10 Plus, or the Galaxy S10 Lite into download mode. And we do that first by powering off the phone. Once the phone has completely been powered off, we're going to be pressing and holding the Bixby or side button and the volume down buttons at the same time. you Again, you want to wait till the phone is powered off. Press and hold those two buttons down and then insert a USB cable that is currently connected to our PC. And then that's going to bring us to download mode. We can then press the volume up button to continue to get past that splash screen. And now we are going to up and open up Odin and load in those firmware files to flash on here. So here on the PC, I can show you this. I used SamFirm to grab the firmware, which was this file. I used, you can use WinRAR or 7-Zip to extract the contents of this file, which gives us these five files, remember. And I took that AP file, transferred it to the phone, got the Magisk patched file and then I went ahead and opened up Odin and some people have said they needed to right click on the Odin exe file and open it as an administrator I've never had to do that but you may once we have Odin opened up we click on the BL button right here that opens up a file browser and then we select the BL file that we extracted from the firmware. Then we click on the AP button but instead of loading the AP file we're gonna load the Magisk patched file into that slot. Magisk patched. Then we click on the CP button and then of course, we add in the CP file. Lastly, we click on the CSC button. And since we need to do a factory reset, we're just going to load the regular CSC file right here anyway. Now, you will know that you're ready on Odin whenever you, the program recognizes your phone, which it does right there because we are in download mode and it's connected to the PC with the USB cable. You also want to click on this options button and make sure to uncheck the auto reboot button. We want to make that sure that that auto reboot option is not checked because we want to force the restart manually since we need to initiate the factory reset. With all that ready, we're going to click on the start button right here at the bottom and let Odin flash and install these files to our Samsung Galaxy S10, our Galaxy S10 Plus, or our Galaxy S10 Lite. The amount of time it takes to complete will depend on the speed of your computer, the quality of your USB cable, but you just got to remember that at least the Magisk patched file is very big. It's a patched version of that AP file, so it's quite large, and that's because it includes a lot of these files. So just be patient. For me, I believe it averages about every two minutes that it takes to flash a firmware to the smartphone. And we're going to want to look for a message right here, a green background with the a word pass that so shows up right there.
All right, we got our pass message. It means Odin has successfully flashed those files to the Galaxy S10 as it design as it was designed to. And now we can turn our attention to the smartphone. All right, this step may seem a bit tricky, but just plan out what we need to do and it, it becomes easier. So we're going to need to force the smartphone to restart, which we do by pressing and holding the volume down button and the power button at the same time. But as soon as the phone restarts, we then need to change our button combination and press the power button, the Bixby button, and the volume up button because that will get us into recovery mode. So let's do this one step at a time. We're going to do volume down and power button to the phone restarts. And then power, big speed, volume up button. Continue to hold these down until we boot up into recovery mode. And if you get that reboot right there, no problem. Continue to hold those buttons down again. You can say I let go of those buttons when I saw the blue screen. So whenever that happens and we see the phone reboots, we're going to continue to go back to press and hold those buttons. And now that takes us to the recovery mode menu. You'll be happy to know that once we get here, we're almost done. We're at the final stretch. We're going to be pressing the volume down button until the wipe data and factory reset option is highlighted. And then we're going to press the power button to select it. Then we need to confirm that we want to do the factory data reset. So we press the volume down button again until the factory data reset option is highlighted. Press the power button to select that option. Down at the bottom, you're going to see a log of the different partitions that are being formatted. And then you're going to be taken back to the main menu with the top option highlighted again. With the Reboot System Now option highlighted, we're just going to press the power button to select it. And then we're going to wait patiently for the Samsung Galaxy S10, the Galaxy S10 Plus, or the Galaxy S10 Lite to boot back up into Android. And this is going to take us to the Android activation screen since we just reset everything. So we just be patient during this boot process. So this boot cycle may seem long, just be patient with it. it. Took me about four, maybe five minutes for it to boot up into this screen. And I'm just going to skip on through this activation screen. All right, so I've gone through the activation. I'm connected to the internet and still doing it, setting up stuff, but we need to do a couple more things before we finish. We're gonna go to uh, the GitHub Majisk page because we need to download the Majisk Manager again. Oops. So we're going to grab that APK file. We're going to open it and you know, we need to grant it access or the permission to install APK files. Alright, so we have Majisk installed, but it's telling us that it is not installed. So that's because we need to press and hold three buttons while the phone is booting up to load Majisk. So if we restart the phone normally, or if we power off the device and then press and hold the power button to turn it on, just like normal, 
it will not load the files that has your phone rooted. To do that, to load Majisk and to have your phone rooted, we need to, again, press some buttons. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna power off the device to show you how this is done. So remember the buttons we held down to boot up into recovery mode was power, the Bixby button, and volume up. So we're gonna be, when the phone is completely powered off, we're gonna press and hold these three buttons down together just like that. You're gonna see a screen, a screen, and a screen. Once you get past that bootloader warning screen and it takes you to this third screen, we can let go of the of those three buttons. I do a count because it flashes three different screens during that boot process. So I wait till the phone is powered down, I press and hold those three buttons, and then I count the screens that I see. One, two, three. And then, then once I see that third screen for a second or two, not anything super quickly or not anything five seconds later, but once I see that third screen appear, then I can let, then I know to let go of those buttons. So once we have booted up the phone while pressing that button combination, then we can open up Majisk and you, you're going to get this prompt saying that it requires additional setup. So we're going to tap on OK. It's going to run that stuff. Then it's going to reboot the phone again. Remember, we want it to load Majisk. So we wait till the phone is powered off. We press and hold those three buttons. One, two, three. Then we let go of those three buttons. As long as we are holding those three buttons while the phone is booting up and during those three screens, it's going to load Majisk when we get into Android. It may seem a bit complicated, it's something that you get in the habit of. I've gotten used to it on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And it can actually be kind of nice for apps like banking apps that are specifically looking to see if Majisk is loaded beyond just looking for the Majisk Manager app or beyond just looking if you're passing safety net. So again, once we have booted up that second time, you can open up Majisk Manager again. And you can see it's going to tell us Majisk is up to date and Majisk Manager is up to date. And there you have it. It does seem like it takes a while. It's something that you get used to the steps because it's really the same from the Galaxy S9 to the S10 to the S20 to the Note 9 to the Note 10. The process is the same. We're just patching the firmware file with Majisk Manager before we flash it using Odin. And that is how to gain root access to the Samsung Galaxy S10, the Galaxy S10 Plus, and the Galaxy S10 Lite.